It is, in fact, my 22nd birthday, which is very exciting. Over like that, you can do this. Another one, right? If you've got itchy eyes, don't rub them. Oh my God, I just got the itch. <laughs> <laughs> Who actually cares? Like, does it actually matter? <laughs> That's a tea towel. That is a tea towel. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, it's Monday the 4th of March, so it's the day after we filmed the video last night. Uh, safe to say, I have a headache. I wore a hat half the video. Don't know why. I do know why, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, literally just a disclaimer that I am, I kind of apologise in advance for <laughs> how into the list I got, right? I don't know. This is classic me, isn't it? Yeah, I, I actually think, look, there'll be so much shit we have to cut out. Yeah. Peace globally. Got anything else to add? No. I don't have a rape alarm. I sure did. I was just said to me to uh, try and have look like I've got normal hair in the video. <laughs> I said to her, this is not fucking happening. No. <laughs> oh my no, God. No, Harry, actually change that shit. I looked like when I was four and I had a full on <laughs> helmet, like full on um, shit. Harry's mum used to do actual bowl cuts on purpose. I was a bowl cut kid. I, was, I look like Jay. <laughs> Jay, I'm in between I'm actually this. <laughs> you are, guys. <laughs> Do you know how I look like Jay? Because my because my hair there actually sits on my ears now. <laughs> what's what, what, what's no? What's you can't have you? this hair in the video. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> should I put should I put a hat on? I put a hat on. <laughs> Elise, if you're watching this, do you remember when Harry said that he wanted to wear a hat, a hat to a club yeah, in I first had year? Slit. I look like tinted. <laughs> Harry, you dress wear a baby club. I genuinely would have done at the time. Why just tuck it all in? Nah. What was the name? You know, from you know Dappy. You know, fucking ages ago. You know. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't have the things on the side. <laughs> Tell you the thing that all those people go that yeah man like, I'm kind of like I'm kind of wavy in it like you know what I mean like I can't uh, I can't even look at myself I only throw up looking at myself. <laughs> right, hi everyone. We're gonna make pizza. Welcome to it's my Elsie's birthday. We're gonna make pizza. No! It's birthday. Um, and then Elsie's doing a 21 questions or something. What is it? Did you say 21 questions? An exquisite stuff. No, I've written a list of 22 things that I've learned in 22 years, but it's actually just, I think it's like 14. Okay, so, hi vlog. <laughs> no, that's not even good, that's not even... What no. is this? No, you just do this, weird, you just think before you vlog, where you like wipe your face. Just it's Elsie's birthday, she's struggling to get her words out, she's <laughs> had some rosé. Out okay, and we're gonna go make pizzas, and then while we eat our pizzas, I'm gonna go through my list. All right, let's have a look at the dough. I was like, this is what I mean by overproofing dough. Look. <gasps> Didn't intro the video very well. It is, in fact, my 22nd birthday, which is very exciting. So I'm a bit offended because I literally spent like. <laughs> so what have I done today? So today's my birthday, it's Wednesday 3rd of March, went for a walk with my mum and my sister which was so nice, I just know you're taking the piss. <laughs> and then we came back, we got lunch and coffee and stuff and then, and then we came back and chilled, Harry and I then went to the shops to get some stuff for our uh, like pizza recipe and some wine. And then I did some of my urban design homework. I say I did some of my urban design homework. I literally did 25 minutes of work. And then we did family FaceTime. I opened my presents, which I'm going to include in my next video. I'm feeling much better than I did when I was in the last video. I'm still feeling positive. I'm still feeling good, which is good considering I'm at TMI. Oh, my period. Great on my birthday, I know. It was Harry's birthday yesterday. We basically did like uni work all day because I have lectures all day on Tuesdays and Harry has loads of work to do with the dissertation and stuff. And then we went for a nice walk. We had burgers for dinner and then we watched um, Infinity War, Marvel. Loving the Marvel. And then woke up and it's our birthday, which is so nice. Like three days are usually like a relatively stressful time for me because 
not stressful, but like, there's a lot going on. Um, obviously, like I've got a twin. It's Izzy's birthday. Like you know, we go to different like, unis in different cities now, and obviously then Harry's got the day before. It's usually a big palaver, but this year has been so lovely, and I'm definitely feeling the love. Guys, I'm getting you onto the best rosé. Sorry, Wilfred. This is the best supermarket rosé. Right, it was seven pounds today in Sainsbury's local. Sorry. Look at this. It can, it can know what my thumb looks like, all right? I already know. Look. So for my, for my pizza tonight, I'm feeling mozzarella, salami, and black olives. That's what I think I'm doing. Excuse what are you me. doing, Harry Thong? What approach are you taking? Uh, I'm doing margarita, I think. There's one, there is one way of doing a pizza, and it's margarita, in my, in my opinion. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza. Little Polly's pale ale. Oh, I get it all for that. It smells like um, you've ever had a peach and apricot pussy flu before. Yeah. Oh my, that's the favorite. That's the best. Oh, one. I just dunk my nose in it. That literally tastes just like a pussy flu, but not the, but the. Uh, does that not taste ex? No. Absolutely opaque. You cannot. Bloody hell! That is an abs. That is a beer and a half. So you want to use your fingertips. Look. See, what I'm using my fingertips, pushing it out, and you can kind of push it over like that. You can do this. This is amazing. Thanks, Grandma, for the little olive oil thing. That's Cheers, one of... Harry. Cheers, Gorgie. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you, my love. This is just absolutely great. Ugh. Eight minutes. Gosh, oh, that was smoky, smoke that. wasn't it? Oh. Wait, else, else, else. Our pizza has just been on the floor, face ground, face down for one second. Harry says, I think it was about four. Cheers. Cheers, Porgy. Mm. Mm. That's so nice. Yeah. What's going on? Is that a tea towel? Yeah. This portion of the video is going to be. Me going through 22 things that I've learned in 22 years of living. However, as we know from the introduction, I haven't done 22 things. I've only done a few. I don't want people to say like, oh, you know, this is superficial, blah, 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 blah. It's not. Like, these are actually things I've learned, and so I will include them. And some of them are just like random things. Number one, if you think there is something wrong with the way you think about things, please go to therapy. Therapy has literally been, I know, I know I bang on about it. I know I talk about it. How helpful has therapy been for me? Mm. It has been so helpful. And it's not scary, it's not a big thing. Like, I'm not embarrassed to say that mm. I go to therapy. It's just a thing. I feel like pizza go to therapy. Listen, right. Coffee does not make you anxious. I'm s I kind of apologise in advance for mm -hmm. how into the list I got, right? It doesn't make you anxious. It increases your heart rate, which is also what your anxiety does. So your body thinks you're anxious. You're not. It's just a side effect of caffeine that increases your heart rate. The anxiety also increases your heart rate, so it's why you get the two feelings mixed. And also, if you're ever anxious, eat a huge bowl of oats. Another one, right? If you've got itchy eyes, don't rub them. Good job, you put that. Yeah, I it's a that lesson. I, I learned that when I was three and a half. Well, I learned it when I was, when did I get this guy? When we were 19, 19. Don't rub your eyes, guys. I'm trying to get the message across. <laughs> I think you did that. Don't rub your fucking eyes. Ready? Academic grades do not define your self-worth. Yeah. So you get a certain grade and you feel down about it and whatever. Don't think that you are stupid. Don't think that you're a bad person. Don't think you're lazy. Don't think you're unmotivated. Don't feel all kinds of down about yourself because you got a bad, bad grade. Hey, right, listen, it's not even a bad grade. Think about the amount of qualities you have. You're funny, you're kind, you're beautiful, you're energetic, 
you love the ones around you, you're a great friend, you're a great girlfriend, you're a great boyfriend, great sister, brother, whatever. You're, you're, you're intelligent as well. Okay, yeah, so your intelligence is literally like 5% of all the great things that make up you. So why are you putting 100% of your self-worth, 100% of how you feel about yourself on an academic grade? I'm speaking, I'm literally like speaking mm. because I literally used to do that. When I was doing my undergrad, if I got a grade I didn't like, right, A, I set my boundary really high. I did well, but at what cost, you know? Any, anything to add? I have um, something I learned. I learned that when buying a yum yum, you should never bother. Don't just don't bother with anywhere other than Waitrose and go straight to Waitrose and buy one from wait, buy them from Waitrose. Mm. Harry has tested out every, every single yum yum. supermarket. I got him some Sainsbury's yum yums for his birthday breakfast. They were nice. They were nice. I was surprised. Mm. For anyone who likes doing the makeup, doing the hair, do your hair before you do your makeup. If you're curling your hair, it has time for the curls to drop. By the time you've got your makeup on, you're looking stunning. By the way, disclaimer, these are not the 22 most important things. I'm sure there'll be much more important things that I should be saying. These are just things that came to my head within the last 48 hours. Got anything to add, Howard? What have you learned in these 22 years? If you think you're shit at something, you're probably not as shit as you think. It, it, and if you just put your mind to it and sit, you know, work as hard as you can on something, then you, you're going to surprise yourself. I think even if you think you're like, even if you think you're really stupid, or if you have like, like learning difficulties or whatever, if you put your mind to something, you will surprise yourself. 100%. And if you just eliminate distractions and... I think it's a self-confidence thing, really. It's a self-belief thing. If you always get told at school, you're lazy, you're stupid, why haven't you done well in this? Kids are going to think that, aren't they? Mm. I've also learned that there's one thing not to skimp out on when it comes to money, is toilet roll. That's like a huge thing I've learned going through uni. Next okay. one. Don't use the excuse you're scared of conflict to allow you to be passive in situations and let people walk all, all over you. If you think you don't like arguing, that's okay. I don't like arguing. Most people don't like arguing. Most people aren't super argumentative. Most, like I forget my points, I blah, blah, blah. But I've used that in the past to just ignore situations. And it's actually just led me to be passive and literally just let people walk all over me and just do what they want and treat me how they want. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I got myself in situations where like I've literally been like completely walked over and people have just taken advantage of me and, completely wronged me because I don't want to create conflict. It's so bad in the long run for your self-confidence and you embed a pattern where you just are passive in every single conflict situation and it's a learnt behaviour. You learn that that's the way you should respond. Don't do it. Awful. Right, so it's a bit later. We've just made our second pizza. Oh my god, I just got the egg. <laughs> no! It's on the side. Uh, I was going to show you. It's my birthday. Show right. your shit. So today's beer of the beer review. It's not Harry's. It's not H Town beer review. It's Els's beer review time. Right, Track Brewing, Harry's favourite brewery. If you want to try uh, nice. Uh, God, you're milking this whole birthday thing, aren't you? My God, Wilfred. Tra <laughs> Track. No, I told. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom of choice raspberry sour, 7.2% ABV. Ah, oh, delete that. Don't put that in. I can't remember. Just don't delete that. Oh no, delete that. Um, just show them the sodding beer. So, and be careful with my glass. <laughs> William, please. Swirl and sniff. What do you smell? Raspberry. Funny that. That's a tea towel. That is a tea towel. Why boys and their skincare are just so disgusting? And boys. This is why boys have good skin. Is we do shit like that. Wipe our face with a tea towel. You don't know the acne that I would have if I wiped my skin with it. Oh, I look pale, ill, <laughs> bedraggled. Where's the bean yeah? Just eat this salty thing. Just eat it. I mean, drink it. <laughs> are you gonna wear the beanie the whole video? I think I have to now. It's on. I look like a greasy, bedraggled mammoth. <laughs> it's nice, it's not that sour though, is it? It's not as good as the other sours. Nowhere near. <laughs> right, um, shower caps are revolutionary. <laughs> um, I don't know about that statement. <laughs> First seat, Cinderella shower cap. I probably got that when I was like 17. It lasted me till 21. I'll tell you what is revolutionary. No, no, no. <laughs> and now I've got a cupcake shower cap. So if you catch me in the shower, I look like a cupcake. It's got a little cherry on the top, so it's a little... The muffin man. Not the buttons. Shower caps are so strong in my life. I literally wear my shower cap every single day. The main people are going to do seriously make me. I look like a bank robber, but a really useless one. Next one. If you think someone's thinking badly of you, if you're anxious that someone's 
talking about you, thinking about you, bitching about you, whatever. A, they're probably not. No one actually cares that much about other people. I certainly don't. That is such a fact. I think people And B, people who think actually that... cares? Like, does it actually matter? Like, if they're gonna bitch about you to your best friend, your best friend already knows that you're a great person, that you're not a horrible person, that you, the, the situation was misinterpreted, whatever. So it actually doesn't matter. And also, we are literally on a ball of rock that is floating around a sun. There are seven billion of us on this ball of rock. Does it matter if a singular person of that has misinterpreted that situation and has perceived you as a bad person? Also, right, think about it. This is something I've thought about. Think about it from another point of view. When you talk about someone, so say if I was like telling Harry about a situation, telling Harry about someone, everyone does it, you know. If I'm telling Harry about a situation that happened, do I actually care about that person? Do I want them to have a shit day? No. Do I want them to feel anything but happiness? No. It's the same way around for anyone talking about you. They don't actually care. I'm not saying that I don't gossip. I do. Everyone gossips. Like, that's literally just a way of life. But I think what I've been, like, what I've literally learned is to separate what actually matters and what doesn't. And that is one of the things that doesn't matter. Does not matter. And there are some days which I 100% focus on what other people think. That's been, like, a, that is, like, a massive part of but my that's anxiety. that's one thing I think you benefited so much from from therapy. Yeah. Because, like, you were so... you were That was actually you to a T. Like, you just... All your... Not all your actions, but, like... It's just people 85 percent of your actions was like are other people going to think about yeah. based on what I do and then therapy has just kind of taught you to one not give a give a shit what those people what those certain people thought you know which is just a result in you being a happy person and just making your own decisions and yeah not making decisions for other people that don't even matter so it's so hard to like get across what I mean but genuinely that has been <sighs> one of the biggest lessons if you make a decision for yourself it will manifest itself as self-love really doesn't yeah. it yeah right um, lighter coloured rosé is always better. Right, the final one to ponder. Adult, this is how I wrote it. Adults don't actually have everything figured out. Bearing in mind, most of the people who watch this are my friends. We are adults now. We, so when you are like 40, you are still an adult. We're an adult now. We're not that different to 40 year olds. You don't reach an age where you have everything figured out. So sort yourself out now. Yeah, 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 for sure. If you think there's anything about yourself that you need to change, change it while you still can. If there's a fundamental thing you've got to change about yourself to actually take yourself forward in life. So like if you, you know, if there's some kind of rut you're in, regardless of what it is, that's stopping you from like getting yourself out of a rut where you're not progressing and you're just screwed. If you have to make a sacrifice to get yourself out of that rut, regardless of what it is, you should make it because... You know that's it, best for you. Well, on that note, I think that was literally only like, was that only like 13? Well, we talked about a lot. I was hoping it'd be 22, but... I hope this video doesn't come across like really like obnoxious and like we think we know everything and we think we've learned all this stuff. We have learned a lot of stuff but we are literally 22 and we have so much learning to do. But in the grand scheme of things we've learned some big lessons. Thank you so much for watching if you have got this far. Um, please like and subscribe if you like my videos. I've tried to upload every single Sunday. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next week. I think I'm going to do a haul of stuff that I got for my birthday and just stuff that I ordered because I got myself a few birthday presents and we got ourselves a few joint birthday presents, mm. which is nice. Yep. Bye!